Hello and welcome back to the channel. This I am your host Michelle, and this is the Black Eye Podcast. Oh Lord! So y'all know already what has gone on with B Taylor and Princella, and uh, I had no intentions truly to actually partake in making any sort of comment because I've already made up my mind that. Um, I felt that B. Taylor was a little bit out of line. And um, I had privy to both lives, Princella's live uh, and B. Taylor's live. But I only recorded B. Taylor's uh, a snippet of her live. So I wanted to come on and maybe kind of discuss this and put my two cents into it, even though... I don't know if I even should do this, but here I am. So many of you have not really come to, you know, like a, a lot of people didn't watch the TikTok live where this all broke out, right? You didn't watch Princella's TikTok. You didn't watch B. Taylor's TikTok. Everybody just watched her YouTube. Okay. Nobody knows what happened in the TikTok world. Um, so I got my notification to watch Princella go live, and I went over and watched Princella go live. Princella seemed to be in good spirits. She wasn't grumbling or, you know, depending on the time of day, sometimes she'll she'll be low-key talking about some stuff and you know, you listen. It's 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 entertaining. It's you know, it's entertaining. I I like to watch her sometimes because sometimes, you know. She's Princella, right? So this time she was in good spirits and she just talked about how she finished her book. You know, the one that B. Taylor said was written by Chat GPT. And um, I think like she was just about to get the book. Uh, Princella had the book in her hand when she received a phone call. Now, Princella was wearing these little buds in the ears you know the ones that you touch those little tiny buds in the ear that wrap around your ear and you touch them and you answer the phone so that's what she did she was getting a call she she had a book in her hand and she touched them and she answered the phone and apparently the person on the other end of the phone was b taylor b taylor was livid according to princella's reactions now i said in a chat, somebody's chat, I don't know, or comments, that I thought the whole thing was staged, right? But apparently, maybe it kind of wasn't because B. Taylor was accusing Princella of blocking her out of the live chat. And Princella said, no, I didn't block you. I didn't block you, which is true. Pr Princella wasn't even anywhere near the screen. She was getting her book. And she was about to talk about, she was about to talk or discuss or explain what was in the book and where to find it. It was on sale on Amazon and a couple of other places. And she was saying how she wasn't going to, um, she wasn't going to audio read it. It was not going to be an audio version of it or something to that effect. You know, you're always in and out on these things. And um, that's when. And and this was a, a good while. Wow, this was a good three minutes, four minutes that uh, Princella was on the phone with B. Taylor. And Taylor, according to Princella, said that she wanted uh, Princella to shut down the live and talk to her. And Princella was like, no, I'm not doing all that. You need to stop. You need to stop. You need to stop. Okay? You need to stop. Now, this is where I am going to put in my opinion. I felt that, I shouldn't say I felt, I just think that uh, Princella should have paused the live and had this discussion off camera. Um, that's what I thought. She should have had this discussion off camera. B. Taylor calling her, um, apparently upset because she was blocked off the live, made no sense. Well, it. It just didn't seem, I, I I didn't know what to think, to be honest with you. As an audience member, I didn't know what to think. Like, what the frick? They had been beefing with each other off and on. They had not, not beef, but arguing off and on. Um, 
Prince Ella had been talking some crap about B. Taylor. Um, she didn't call B. Taylor by name. She's smart enough not to do that. Once in a while she would if she got tired of B. Taylor coming in her comments um, being passive aggressive. And B. Taylor would do that. She did that one time. And I'm going to discuss the incident in which she did do it. And Prince Ella actively ignored her until uh, B. Taylor kind of stepped over the line. And then she called out B. Taylor and told their business. That's what Princella does. When she gets tired, she, she opens her mouth and says some stuff. And B. Taylor was so upset that she jumped in on the live from she because uh, B. Taylor was at work. She was in the chat. She was saying some crap. And then she jumped in and then she told her side of the story. And that was like a month ago. So they were beefing. I heard they had gotten back together. According to both of them now, now that we have more information, they had been broken up since January. So that's what Princella said. Um, well, you know, that's what it was going on. So Princella was really kind of upset. Not even upset. She was disturbed. Like she really was disturbed. Here she was, she was about to talk about her book, and B. Taylor calls her in and starts saying some shit that, you know, it had nothing to do with Princella at this time. This was actively happening on camera. And that's when um, she started talking about B. Taylor. <laughs> she started talking about how B. Taylor was selfish, how B. Taylor was emotional, how B. Taylor has um, insecurities. And that she didn't really like to be around all that negativity. Because B. Taylor is full of negativity. And she thinks nobody likes her. And she thinks everybody's against her. And, you know, she just didn't want to be around that. And then that's when Pr Prince Ella went in and said, I got a new girl. We've been broken up since January. This is over. I got a new girl. I like met her last week, and she's talking about all the spiritual mumbo jumbo. We the same sign, we the same this, we the same that, all that Aquarius stuff. I can't even recite that because I don't, you know. When you start talking to me about that stuff, I totally like glaze over. But, anyways, that's what she was saying. That's what Princella was saying. And Princella was like, uh, you know, like, I'm done with this. I'm done trying to be nice. I'm done with this because you're calling me on my live, disturbing my peace. And and to accuse me of something that I didn't do. So later in the live, uh, Princella's manager, or not her manager, her assistant calls and says to her, I blocked B. Taylor. She takes a, a responsibility for it, at least according to Princella. Princella's looking at her phone. She takes, I think it's a text or something. And the assistant says, I takes responsibility. I blocked B. Taylor. Because I knew that this was going to escalate. And I'm like, oh. I, I, You know what? I don't even know if I was typing in the chat. Because I was just sitting there. Usually I listen to Princella like as I'm doing something myself. You know. Kind of background. Kind of looking to see what's interesting. But kind of in the background. And if it's entertaining. And sometimes she can be downright entertaining. I will put a gift in there and be like, yeah, queen, you go with that. Because you sometimes, I mean, like, let's face it. She, she ain't lying about most of the stuff she's talking about. Most of y'all or most of us don't like the messenger. It's not, excuse me, the message. It's the messenger, right? So, um, Prince Ella has her girlfriend in her ear probably to calm her down because she was really like visibly disturbed and upset. So yeah, I guess the little buds get, get very annoying. So she took her out and she told her girlfriend, her new boo, that uh, she's on live. Be careful what you say. You're not in my ear anymore. Whatever, whatever you're saying to me is not private. So be cognizant of that. And uh, the girlfriend says some, you know, what is she calling for? Some stuff like that, you know. And, uh, you know, what is there to say? Blah, 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 blah. You know, what is going on? Like, because everybody's kind of wondering, like, what, what in God's name is going on here? 
So the girlfriend, I mean, Priscilla was going to get off anyways because she had a meeting in about five or ten minutes. And the girlfriend said, hey, when time's your meeting? Priscilla says five minutes. And the girlfriend says, well, you need to wrap this up. So Priscilla says, okay. And she wraps that shit up. Now, I'm thinking like everybody else is thinking, I'm done. That was crazy. Like, I'm, I'm watching these two people unfold online. That's a very uncomfortable feeling to, to watch that, right? So after that, I'm just kind of in shock. I am in kind of shock, right? Because now all this information unfolds. Lo and behold, who else pops up in the live thing? It's B. Taylor. And B. Taylor is distraught. Like, to me, this is my assessment of her. She is distraught. She is distraught about uh, Princella moving on. She's distraught about everything. So the live, her live starts with Yanni getting in the car. Yanni is there. Yanni? Oh, Yanni. I'm sorry. It's Yanni, right? Yanni gets in the car. So that's who she's talking to in the car. And B. Taylor is just she is emotional. She is a wreck. She is angry. She is ticked off. And in my assessment, I think B. Taylor, um, <laughs> yeah, was hurt. Like her feelings were genuinely hurt, genuinely hurt. Like, so after this, B. Taylor, like, spill some beans, the stuff you already heard, pissy bed, uh, pissy mattress, she took care of the daughter, she was doing this out of the goodness of her heart, and I'm thinking to myself, ooh, I've been through this myself, like, when I was a teenager, right? I thought when people, when men would say these things to me that they kind of meant it, <laughs> And they didn't mean it. And um, I felt a certain way about it. And I, too, was an emotional wreck. And I didn't see how I played a part in the breakup or what, whatever. You know, you know how it goes. This is a breakup. This is a bad breakup. But according to both of them, they had been broken up since January. So, again, I was a bit confused as to why B. Taylor was so upset about Princella moving on, right? So this video, and I'm, do, I'm saying all this, just put my two cents into it, um, because that seems to be like the missing piece. B. Taylor was the one who sparked this whole thing off in the first place. Princella, yes, was low-key talking about her and low-key dissing her, but, you know, she never, she didn't really call B. Taylor by name, per se, but if you've been in a relationship and people say certain phrases and certain words, you know they're talking about their relationship. You know what they're talking about. You know, she says she didn't like feelings and emotions and all that kind of stuff. You know, she's talking about BTL. We know this, right? So, so here we go. Anyway, so I'm up here watching B. Taylor's live. She's like, screenshot this, screenshot this. And I screenshot it because I'm like, I don't know what we are going to miss. It. This is where B. Taylor decides that evening that she's going to do a YouTube live and she's going to tell all the business. And she was a little more, she was a little more out there on, t on TikTok. She says some strange things on TikTok. Uh, when she, by the time she got to YouTube, she was a little more composed. She was still emotional. She was still upset, but she was a more she was more sedate like she was she had calmed down a little bit to to uh, gather her thoughts on what she was going to say so i say all this to talk about this video and put my two cents into it and say that i thought that uh princella kind of handled it badly um, this woman has a right to move on I, I I get that the message, I think she went too far with her messages. I think she went too far with talking to the people. I think there were a lot of things, a lot of mistakes that she made. She was she went a little too far. But I also see her point with B. Taylor. 
Now, B. Taylor had to come on YouTube and take accountability for herself because she knew uh, and Yanni told her, look, you're not going to win this. You're not going to win this at all. Right. So, you know. I don't know if that's in this clip. I just want to get this thing off my phone. And so I thought I'd put my two cents worth into it and, you know, elucidate some of the missing pieces. But this is a piece from B. Taylor's Live. Um, as you can see, she's very emotional. She's very, it, this is my assessment, totally my assess assessment. Very, very emotional, very um, upset, feelings hurt you know, pretty girl syndrome, all that good stuff. So without further ado, I'm just going to play the video. And you let me know what you think in the comments. Let me see. Where can I go? all the time she had like, me she had me shaking hands with a news reporter yeah yeah like stop trying to make it seem i'm sorry i'm the one that got like, i'm the one that got priscilla on tv she couldn't get herself on tv i got her on tv that's i'm how, the one with the real connections in the pool real connections like outside of social media outside of social media but let me tell y'all about la so screen record this she says that oh i've been all broke right. up with b taylor b taylor didn't want to let me go why you pay 700 dollars for me to come out there that <laughs> she's using this new girlfriend to try to get at me that she's not pressed and bothered about me and that's why she's the fact that y'all are not seeing somebody literally quote unquote in their relationship publicly and then they jump into a new relationship literally a few days after all of this is not a red flag to y'all it's Weird. No, my followers know that when people hop from relationship to relationship that's signs of codependency it's, she hops relationship to the next relationship to the next relationship to the next and she's done it with men That's now she's doing it with women That's she's now doing it with women women, women who are doing the work they know the that. new girlfriends are nobody she she's not no i'm not gonna say nobody as in she's just not known i think she just has money or whatever and she her and priscilla are like planning to do all this stuff the same shit that me and priscilla was hyping up that me and Priscilla plan all these trips to take and all this other stuff. Like, that's the same thing that she's doing with this girl. Like, everything that she did with me in the beginning, she's doing with this girl. So, screen record this. She want to say, I was mad that she broke up with me, right? But Priscilla has been trying to sleep with me. She's been asking me, like, she'll be on the phone like, oh, I, I'm, I, I just want to eat some. I'm going to use the word cookie. She'll be like, baby. I ain't gonna even say nothing because it, it's gonna get. It's I say, oh okay. I wasn't interested. I was not interested in doing that with her for health reasons and other reasons. I didn't. I didn't, was not interested. And so she paid seven hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars to fly me out to L.A. Fly me out to L. She asked me to come to L.A. I didn't. I didn't ask to come to L.A. Don't forget she, about the fruit. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm saying this is this is before the fruit. This is before the fruit. She flew me out to LA, paid 700 something dollars, 700 something dollars to fly, fly me out to LA. Meanwhile, we got into it before we went to LA. And she's yelling at me at the fucking airport like a psycho. Her eye, one eye bigger than the other and shit like that. And she's going off or whatever. So then I'm like, okay, I'm crying at the airport. I'm trying to like, make peace with it like i don't want to go travel thousand miles with you and it'd be all of this we get to if you're trying to groom me screen record this if you wasn't trying to groom me and seduce me why was you playing bedroom hotel and you start playing corn out loud on your phone you got headsets and you start what's a, another word from masturbating can I say that on TikTok? Masturbating? Can I say that? Yanni? What? Masturbating. Can I say that? I guess. She was touching and pleasing herself right next to me while I was trying to sleep. So 
you're pleasing yourself playing corn out in the bed with me being loud and touching on yourself but i wanted to sleep with her yes yes and so i turned around like what you trying to do like if either because i'm feeling good i'm a little drunk i'm like well what you, you want to kind of like flirt around or whatever i wasn't about to do nothing with you know take it that far but i was and she was just like no she wanted to play hard to get so i just said oh, okay cool like whatever like all right cool i was like well shit, don't be playing corn out loud if you ain't trying to be about that life right the next day we we drink and then we go take a nap She's playing corn again out loud in the bed and start touching and pleasing herself again. She's pleasing herself out loud, playing corn out loud next to me while I'm trying to sleep. She wanted me to bed exactly, and I was not about to do that. And so I kept my back turned and went to sleep. The ne- that same day, later on that night, she did the exact same thing. She did the exact same thing until we did fool, fool around a little bit. So she's not going to talk about how we did end up fooling around and how she was, you know, trying to do something. She was trying to do something the entire time in L.A. Then after she's cuddling up with me and holding me and 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 then for those who are in book club, her new girlfriend who saw it. I, and then she said, I spent the night at her house one time. She fucking lying. She's talking about she got a $5,000 bed. She didn't pay $5,000 for that bed. She did not pay $5,000 for that bed. But what I will say, it took me telling her to get a new mattress because the mattress she was sleeping on had holes in it and broken down. It's pee. That's why I wouldn't fucking spend the night because I'm like, why are you sleeping on a mattress like this? This is fucking disgusting. Like, dude, like you and your daughter sleep on this and That's you expect me to come shit. over. Yeah. And I'm like, you expect me to come over and sleep on this mattress and it smell like fucking pee? Why your shit smell like pee in there? So I'm like, no. So now she got a nice mattress. So now she's bragging about the mattress because I'm the one that helped her get the fucking mattress. I'm telling her, I motivated her. I'm not going to say I helped her get the mattress. I'm the one that convinced her to get a new mattress. You are better than me. And then she's talking about, I only spent the night at her house once. No, I didn't like to spend the night at your house because it was fucking dirty. (laughs) It was dirty. So she was always coming to my house and my house just had more space because she was always yelling at Maya for running around and stuff. You can't make too much noise. So anyway... (sighs) I spent the night at her house way more times than one time. So that's a fucking lie. That, that's a lie. Then on top of that, what else did she say? She said... So how'd y'all get y'all... What? Freak on. I didn't like to do that. There. Sometimes we did, but after I, I... I just didn't like to do that. It, it was just... I'm not going to get too personal in that. I just, I just wasn't... Hopefully she you know, with the next one. I don't know. Maybe they can enjoy that. I just didn't enjoy it. Mm. But I'm like, we have our clothes on. That's fine. Like, you know, we can have our clothes on. But clothes, (laughs) no. I'm talking about the, like, with her not having her own room. Oh, with her daughter? She made her sleep on the couch. So Mm. I didn't, that's why I didn't feel comfortable. Her daughter was sleeping my couch. So I, that's another reason why I was like, I don't feel comfortable like with doing all of this. Like you're doing all this and trying to do all this for your daughter. I don't, I don't like that. Like I, I'm not with that. So she mm. want to sit there and say I was all on her, but you were playing corn. And then the and then when we got back from LA, I woke up the next morning. I had stuff to do. You're begging me to stay and spend Easter with you, but I wanted to go spend Easter with my other family and friends my other family and friends so i spent the night over there woke up the next morning went to go get amaya breakfast got her breakfast and she's like oh can you give me a kiss before you leave but that's me wanting to be like what what like that's why i'm like if y'all only know the real truth and the manipulation it's crazy like Uh, i'm the one that's no i just never seen anyone make these claims that someone is clingy overly emotional and uh is codependent but it's always blowing up your phone like right. i've never i don't right i don't know she always calls me want to <laughs> contact never... with me and then don't understand why i feel emotional about the situation because you're you're Y'all you want to blocks yeah and she is blocked she's gonna be blocked i'm done like if she want to say i'm going low 
no ma'am you've been going low and now you're trying to make it seem like you're not going low but you're going real low because you're making you're trying to make people believe that you're so much better like you're so much what do they say a narcissist um hurry up and gets into the next relationship to make it look like they weren't the problem the other person's the problem that's, that's exactly what priscilla's doing you get in a, you're calling me talking to me while you're with this girl, you're still calling me. You just called me yesterday, but you got a new girlfriend. And you calling to check on me, telling me you still want to hang out with me. She literally said that. Like, yeah, Amaya's going to be around you, your boys and stuff like that. So she dead ass still want, expects to be around me and my children and spend time with me while having a girlfriend. I said, I don't want to be involved in that. I want you to, I want you and your girlfriend to fully get to know each other fully and i don't want to be in the way of that don't try to use me when you're not talking to her oh she's getting on your nerves you try to call me you're not about to use no so i said no i don't want to be i don't we weren't she said we were broken up for two months but why would she be flying me out she kissing me why was she touching on me why was she um uh, hunching on me huh that just happened. Let's, when was LA? LA was, um. And then, like, the girls that are like really. March? Like, oh, I don't, Mar the end of March. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. This yeah, that's is crazy. The same woman that was on her live stream making out and making love to her microphone with dim <laughs> lights on TikTok Live. Come on now. <laughs> that shit was weird then, and it's weird now. Do it like, look like I would be pressed over? Do it look like I would be pressed over? Looking for, for looking for a woman to give her some attention through her TikTok live. Yeah, she needs Had validation. Her sunglasses on and everything. I was like, what? The, I never I came watched across those lives. that. Oh, it popped up on my for you page one night, and I was you don't like, need a relationship to hit. She didn't hit nothing. Mm -hmm. She ain't no man. She ain't got no dick. She ain't got no penis. She ain't got none of that. So how? What hit? What hit? What? She can't hit. And for those, it's like, oh, Priscilla pump and dump. It's like, pump what? If you the one that's the eater. <laughs> if I'm a listen, this is why I'm, this is why I'm strictly dickly. I ain't afraid to admit I'm strictly dickly. <laughs> you the eat, you the much. Like the fuck. Because if I if I gotta go through all this, <laughs> if I gotta I'm gonna get dick down and get dick down good. Like I'm not gonna be going through all of this and then I'm not even getting dick down well. Like you just a like, much. Like, like I could see if a dude was right you're a munch how am i getting pumped it up <laughs> but you the muncher <laughs> at least get some bomb sex out of all of this toxicity it was not worth all of that hell no i can't do it i would say that the intimate like when you care about somebody anything can be great mm, okay you know like when you care about somebody and it's passionate that's when it can be great but that's when you thought you could trust that person but now when you look back and be like damn like Wow, like that's crazy. That's but to crazy. go through all of this and not have no type of penetration, <laughs> yeah. this is how I know I'm hetero heterosexual. <laughs> to go through all of this and not have she a no, new, she's type a new of lesbian though. She don't, she not that experienced that's either. So crazy. maybe her new girlfriend could teach her some things. I don't know. I I wasn't the one to because that she's my she was my first girlfriend. So it's like you know I would prefer to not go through all of this saying like if i was to go through something like this i'm like I, i'm at least I'm get uh, uh, a big o yeah <laughs> multiple rounds so yeah you can't even go multiple rounds it's like dang you know i don't know if it was an age difference or what but i was like oh my god but i bet now she was, you know what that's what i'm saying narcissists what they do they want to make you look like the problem by moving on so quickly with somebody else me i'm i, I have options i have other people that want to pursue me but i'm taking time for myself because i know that that's the healthiest thing to do and i would want you guys to do that as well not hop from one relationship to the next relationship to the next relationship because you could have pursued that man yesterday yeah, I got his. I got his yeah, we text, but I ain't texting back because I'm just not interested. I'm not interested. And you know, I was talking to you know who I was talking to last night, and you know he wanted to take me out on a trip, and I said I don't know. That why she. <laughs> that why she really bad. I don't need you to take me on a trip. I want to fully be independent within myself. You definitely had the opportunity, especially last, last. You saw how I was curving them last night. Yesterday, we all were though. We was all curving them. We was like, Listen, we were curving and getting things paid for. The girls need to be taking notes. Curving and getting things paid for. The hell? Yeah. 
I didn't even give out my number yesterday. I was like, uh, uh-uh, this was fun though. It was fun yesterday, and I had fun only for her to bring this next energy. And I had a dream last night that she was in my dream and asking me to help her decorate her place and add some feminine touch to her home, which is a symbolism within there because she's not in touch with her feminine nature, truly. But I am naturally. So it was like she needed me to... So we went to this place and while I was there, I was talking. I was far away from her. This cat jumped onto me and clawed inside of my skin like the cat was clawing onto me. And I was like, it is a soul tie. And I was like, oh my God, the cat would not let go of me. And I was like trying to get it off of me and it had its like clawed into my skin and i'm like trying to get it away but as i'm walking closer to priscilla the cat turns into a dog where dogs are like codependent so y'all can sit there and say that i'm pressed and i'm mad that's your interpretation but if you didn't hear Girl, my what do you mean like this is see and this is my thing about this entire situation mm-hmm. is people are not being real and that shit pisses me off if you allow somebody to come into them Mm -hmm. and you thought you were forming a genuine relationship with them you have every right to be upset yeah you have every right to be angry you have every right to be fucking mad right now yeah but they want to people who act unbothered like you're not being real with yourself or or people who are acting unbothered or oh i'm not pressed you weren't being genuine yep she wasn't you being was genuine. Yeah, look how she's acting. I got a new girlfriend. My girlfriend's better. My girlfriend's mm-hmm. so much more improved. If y'all are really women, please, y'all will not. understand this shit. Do y'all not see game? Man. Do y'all not see game? Thank you for the heart, Lorraine. Man. Do y'all not see game? She's literally gloating about a girl she just met a week ago, saying that, that probably saying that they're a, a soul match like she did with me. She literally bought me on quick. Play, she told me when she bought me onto her um platform the most disappointing she told me to show my boobs the most disappointing thing when it comes to all of this mm-hmm. all of it mm-hmm. she gets advice hotline yeah <laughs> i still fucks with me i'm sorry Is yeah because she, she can't even i can tap in to that when i would like I look, tap when i would source. when i would actually listen to her content i'm like the astrologer she talk about the psychic she talking about i'm thinking Oh, like these are like people she know personally. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, it's not just people that she get on Man. a psychic. Hot. She has an app, a psychic app line thing, Listen. where you where you have different psychics and you pay like two hundred dollars just to talk to them for like fifteen minutes. Man, I get. Yeah. Listen, that's crazy. Seven hundred. I think she said five hundred to seven hundred dollars in one day trying to talk to a psychic because she needed somebody to talk to her. She was so desperate to talk to somebody. She spent all this money talking to psychics. I actually have a spiritual leader teacher. She's uh, not in tune, but like, and I have a reader, and then I have an astrologer. Like different people, I can actually send you to so you can talk to them. Mm-hmm. Like we're about to go see her. Yeah, there. I'm about to but, get a reading uh, after this because I'm being spiritually attacked. Yeah. It's I'm this, being yeah, spiritual. This is spiritual, this is spiritual warfare. warfare. Yeah, this is. is spiritual warfare. A lot of y'all who can't see, not gonna see it. And I've been saying that. So the trolls, I don't really care because you are not awake yet to see what but you will is, be. But you will be. Because I'm not this is not the, this is not the end. You're on the path. And then it, it ain't gonna bother me. They're on the path to be. Yeah. That's why I'm not mad at them. Like Yeah, I'm I'm not they can't been, be annoying, I'm, but I'm, I'm not you know? I've been in an illusion before, so yeah. I know what that's like. And I was there too. I genuinely thought like P was so genuine yeah, yeah. and I thought she really cared and she was passionate. And listen, she still be hitting on shit. One thing about me, I'm not a hater. Yeah. She still be hitting on shit. Yeah, she do. It's just I wish, man, she would she would be a dope person if she really did preach did the self and, reflection and she walked the healing, walk, talk the talk. Walk the walk and talk, but she doesn't She'd walk be the walk and cold talk. as fuck. Like that's just me being real. Yeah. But it's hard to respect someone that don't walk the walk and talk the talk. No, That's they don't. the part that I nope. struggle with. But no, she do be hitting on shit. Like, we're not about to sit up here and make it yeah, feel like she's yeah. hitting on it. No, no she, she do. do. I've learned, I've, I can say that she I've do. genuinely learned a lot and I'm going to take what I learned and still apply it to my life, but I'm actually going to be living it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not but them preachers be, in the pulpit. The preachers in the pulpit. They be hitting on shit. They too. be hitting on shit, but, but they, they don't be, be walking they don't, 
Oh, it's how they be cheating and lying and all touching kids and all types of stuff. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of the same thing. It's the same thing. That's really why you is. just need to take what you can use and leave the rest. Yeah, eat the eat the meat. Leave. But y'all gotta bones. stop putting people on pedestals. pedestals yeah. And trying to make it seem like they untouchable like that's what i don't like i have been quiet for months and i wasn't gonna speak out and i told her only because i said don't rush to the internet to just like announce us and i did that out of protection for both of us because the manosphere and i was like you know and peace like oh i, I want to live my truth i want to live but she actually agreed she was like okay cool like yeah and i said i did that for both of us because it would have just been a nasty time to do that. It was around holidays and stuff like that. I was just like, nah, and we still cool. Like, you know, but she want to, every time she, she's been talking about me online, she's been disrespecting me and I have been quiet for months. So for me to finally be speaking out and y'all telling me like, don't speak out, I am going to speak out. And she can say I'm being low, but my throat chakra was being squeezed because I've been keeping in so much in protection of her, but she's not trying to protect me. So why should I protect her? She's out here trying to make me mad. She started laughing like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. She loved it. Uh, a woman can't pump. A and woman dump can't anybody. pump and dump you. A and woman cannot pump and dump you. What is she pumping me up with? Nothing. BB? Like, no, I don't know. She's <laughs> pumping you up with lies. Lies and manipulation. She, she can't pump you up with sperm. So. She can't pump me up with sperm. She ain't got no Peter Wacker. She ain't got no uh plastic one either. So for those that was like, oh, you know, she got a plastic. No, she ain't got that either. Damn, no penetration? No. Nope. I couldn't do it. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm good just being it like i i advise that and yeah, me too i created a soul type so that is the video that i am releasing today <laughs> i just want this thing off my phone i didn't even bother to edit it um, so I apologize in advance for some of the sound quality and some of the stuff that I was pre-recording, but, um, there you have it. There you have it. There you have it. What do I think? What do I think? Well, I already told you, I think, uh, Prince Ella handled the whole thing very badly. And you, as you can see, um, B Taylor is very upset and it all started because B Taylor was blocked from Princella's chat or her comment section. That's how it all started. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.